Good morning, my loves. I hope you guys are all well. Okay, I've woken up a little nasally this morning. Um, so I think the full moon is definitely doing its thing as well. Clearing, purging, releasing, getting rid of those things that do not need to be there anymore. So honoring that. And it's fucking cold. <laughs> And it's fucking cold. Alright, so let's see what is happening with this full moon energy that we're still currently sitting in. What is the message for the collective? What is the message for the collective? Nothing will come of this situation. Void of course moon. I'm going to get one more there. So when I've just... Okay. Okay. What I'm getting with this, I'm getting a energy of surrendering, the need to surrender. Nothing will come of this situation. Perhaps there's something that you've been persisting in. Perhaps there's been something that you've been resisting um, and something may have run its course I'll get another one and maybe this full moon is highlighting it work through your fears maybe you've been persisting at something which has actually been persisting which has been going hand in hand with something that maybe you've been resisting so I'm getting those two words that are coming together so it's like you've been going and going and trying at something because you're resisting the other side of it. And maybe you've been doing this out of fear. And perhaps this full moon, perhaps this full moon now is highlighting where it is you've been resisting. Sagittarius energy is about truth they are the seekers of truth they are about adventure they are about freedom so there is something here that is being brought to the surface a fear surrounding perhaps where you're not being honest with yourself perhaps where you're holding yourself back from being free, from doing the things that you want to do. Because something's run its course. One more. Now it's time to take action. It's time to move. It's time to move. Because there is a, oh, I just got chills all up my spine. Because there is a new start that is coming. There is a new start. Okay, I'll take it. There is a new start that is coming. Okay. Let's dive deeper into this, shall we? Firstly, let's establish what is this nothing will come of this situation? What has run its course? What has run its course? I'm just going to put a new start is coming. It's like they want me to put that separate. It's like this new start is not amongst this this energy here. It's it's separate. It's 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 over here. Okay. All right. All right. What is what is the energy? Nothing will come of this situation. What is this for the collective? What's happened? <laughs> well, why don't you tell me what you really think, Spirit? Okay. Eight of Cups. Sorry. That's very direct that is spirit you're being very direct right now 
um, nothing will come of this situation. It's time to pack your bags. It's time to walk away. It is an end of a cycle. It's time to move, Spirit said. It's time to move. And you can resist it. <laughs> you can resist it as much as you want. But it's going to get stronger. It's going to bring in more towers until you do. You can persist at something as much as you want. By resisting by resisting it, persisting at something, to resist something. It's only going to make it that much more uncomfortable for you. Nothing will come of this situation. Eight of Cups. End of a cycle. In order to move towards a new beginning. The universe is granting you something here. I just, I went to say offering you, but they said granting. The universe is granting you something here. The universe is granting you this new beginning. If you choose to take it. But there's this fear. So in order... For this new beginning you're needing to walk away from something can you give me a little bit more of what it is that this collective's needing to walk away from let's get real clear oh my god two of pentacles <coughs> where you have been where you have been sitting is you've been juggling You've been juggling something in your life. You've been feeling out of balance. You know that something has needed to change. You know you've had to be the change. You know that it's, it's almost like you know there's somewhere else you want to be. Right? It's like you know there's somewhere else that you want to be. But because of your fears, you've been resisting moving towards the something where it is that you want to be and you know that where you want to be you know it's going to bring you in a lot of success it's going to be like a glow up for you it's almost like you know it is what's good for you yet you're not moving what is these spheres what is the collective fearing what are you fearing if you're going to make the right decision it's like you're torn between your head and your heart you feel very indecisive on making a decision you're at a crossroads because you don't know if you're going to make the right decision or not it's the fear of when you make the move you know there's no going back and that can be really scary, right? Because it's something that you're moving away from that you have memories with. You know if you make the choice to move, you know that that is it. That is the completion done. And that's what you're resisting. What you're not what you're not leaning into is that there is a lot of, there is a beautiful new beginning. There is a beautiful new beginning and you can take this however it fits in your reality. But you're not looking at something for what it is right in front of you. You're not looking at something and it's like the universe is saying, drop the hands let go and look at something look at the situation for what it is look at it face it 
face your fears. Look it dead in the eyes. And if it is not aligning with your soul, let it go. Let it go. How do you propose, Spirit, that they take action? Firstly, God damn it, listen to your intuition. Listen to your intuition. It knows. Your soul knows what it needs. Your soul knows where it's going. Your soul knows where it's taking you. Trust it. Trust your soul. Your soul knows what it desires. <sighs> to take action, you need to physically close the door on something here to move towards a new beginning. Do you know what I got told yesterday? And I love it. Needing to let something fall so everything can fall into place. We have an idea that something is crumbling, that something is falling apart. What if this all falls apart? What if it's falling right into place? What if it was that perspective? Everything's falling apart. Yeah, but now everything's falling into place. For this. What is this new start? What is this new start for the collective? Literally, something new is growing. It needs your love. It needs your time, your energy for it to grow the Hierophant. Some of you, you need to make a commitment to yourself. You are your greatest teacher. You are the greatest teacher you will ever come across, that you will ever tune into, you. If you're going to make any form of commitment, make it to yourself because you're growing. You're growing, you're expanding, you're stepping in, you're creating something new. Don't fight it. Allow your soul to take you To this highest potential you've got king of uh, king of, well i said king of cups but it's not it is a king of pentacles so that's interesting king of pentacles earth sign energy that's coming through hierophant taurus energy that's coming through we have a lot of earth energy that's showing up so something here is coming into the physical form and it could be a king of pentacles ten of cups at the bottom of the deck Tell me a little bit more about what's coming into this collective. I'm also reading this as well as if coming into your own mastery. This could be you teaching. This could be you stepping into more of your spiritual element. This is you mastering your, your spiritual growth, right? This is also you coming into your independence. Wow. not going to be all rainbows and sunshine and butterflies yeah to transition sometimes it can come with a little bit of a battle but you got it you got it stay in your own lane yeah dedicated work it's going to take a bit of effort to get to this to get to this you've got to really trust You've really got to trust that you get there. You will get there. Your new beginning is right there. This new start is right there. It's like, just get over that hurdle. Get over that hurdle. I was never really good at hurdles because I'm really short. So jumping hurdles has never been a good thing for me. I've never been great at it, but I do it. 
and I'll keep going and be persistent at getting over these hurdles. So for some of you, jump over the hurdle. Because right on the other side are these Nine of Cups. The world. It's an old chapter is being closed so a new chapter can begin. Let something fall so it can all fall into place. 